all backgrounds, whether you're a large business, small business, whether you're school, nonprofit, you have a place here. That's right. It's an organization that many businesses count on day in and day out. The Syntex Hispanic Chamber of Commerce. Well, 25 News reporter Eliza Navarro joins us to shed some light on the impact it's made for decades and the market continues to make throughout the community. Since 1975, the Centex Hispanic Chamber of Commerce has pushed to bridge the gap and address the needs of the Hispanic community. From the music to the food and even the language, the Hispanic culture is unique and spread out throughout the community. Born in the U.S., but the blood that flows inside me is Mexican 100%. Um, so I'm very proud of my roots. The Centex Hispanic Chamber of Commerce has been around since the 70s. They strive to unite the community by promoting the economic, educational, and social development of the business community. We get to work with the folks who are making the difference. So uh, what do we do? We, we address their needs. We stay in tune with what is happening in the marketplace. President and CEO of the Chamber, Alfred Solano, was a member for over a decade before taking on his current role. He says as the years pass, it's the members who keep the Chamber thriving. But the real owners of this organization are the members. I work for the membership. I work for a board. It's important that we remember that the members drive what our work is. Daisy Barrera, member of the chamber and owner of 25th Furniture Store, says her local business is booming because of the networking provided by the chamber. It'd be amazing because especially this year with all the pandemic that we had, um, I get a lot of support through Alfred. Um, He's been calling me to check uh, how the business and, and tell me if we need anything the chamber can do for us. A sense of belonging that board member Herman Pereira says unites everyone regardless of their background. And understanding how important all of our voices are at whatever table that we're sitting at. Uh, I know as a first generation uh, child of immigrants, uh, it's really important for my voice to be out there. The chamber hopes to continue helping as many people as possible. They also want to remind people that you do not have to be Hispanic to reach out. Eliza Navarro, 25 News, Waco.